Hello guys, I thought I'd take the time to wish you Happy Christmas from one of the key places in the Welsh Industrial Revolution. This is Brunavan Iron Foundry. The sound of the motorbikes in the background. Giving you an ambiance. You can see it behind me. And what I'm standing on right now is a huge iron smelter. And you can see there's a pretty long drop below. Which is not great if you're a bit tentative with heights. Anyway, I'll show you some of the living conditions here. They've got factories which they built for the workers just like they did in Arkwright's factory and in New Lanark Architecture. And they've also got some of the places where they stored all of the uh, machinery and equipment. So I'll take you around because it's about time I made another Mr. Keat on location. Now, it took me a while to suss they actually had the dates on the door here, but here we go. I have set up from 1790. You can see the size of the bed. People were smaller back then, and the coziness of it, but actually, it's not bad, is it? It's a nice little working space, fireplace, be quite warm. It's cold today though, without any fire, so without any kind of heating, you'd want to go to bed pretty early, and these people would probably be quite tired from the um, iron foundry work, I imagine. Turn the whole family in here, little crib for the baby, workman's trousers on the bed ready to go out to work in the foundry. Here's his trousers again, drying by the fire. When the fire's on it, it would have been a bit warmer in here. It's pretty freezing right now. Up the stairs, let's go up the stairs and see oh, what um, living conditions were like in the top of this little cottage. So, sleeping space is on the floor. You can see these two beds here, hopefully, you can see it in the dark. A little bed for the children. I imagine that these walls have been knocked through since, so back in the day it probably would have been one family in uh, upstairs, downstairs, two room, little cottage. So here's a, another upstairs bit. Big bed and the, the family and they're all sleeping together in one room. Newspapers on the wall for insulation purposes. You can see around the walls here. It looks like there's another space there for a little fireplace upstairs. So of course, once you get home from your work, you're going to want to make sure the fire's going. Otherwise, it would be pretty cold in winter time. But there you go. Living, working conditions in Industrial Revolution Wales. Have a nice Christmas, everyone. I'll see you when we get back in January.